How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this uh, very well requested video um, for the boots review of the Puma Kings but the Pro Edition so the mid tier of the Puma football boots brand. Uh, many people have been commenting on the Puma King Ultimates and the match editions to do a Pro Edition review um, so we've managed to get the boots uh, today and just doing a review uh, right now from the unboxing and on feet test so first initial thoughts is that these these puma king pros are the most flexible and soft material boots um, out of the puma kings if you're going for the ultimates the top end and the academy which is the lower tiers lowest tier these middle tiers are the softest and most flexible ones as you can see right here you can't really do that with the ultimates look how flexible this is um the heel cushion as well very very soft and easy to bend um, so for sure when you wear the boots on you'll notice the comfort of the heel um, also the heel cushion at the back you won't get any blisters even here look on the side very easy to push it um, for both materials to touch from either side usually that doesn't happen when it comes down to a pair of football boots or you have to press very hard i'm just gently pushing it and already i can stretch out the boots and put them together so it just shows how flexible these boots are. And when a boot is very flexible, the breaking time is very quick uh, because the materials will soften up very quickly. So probably around, we recommend two to three training sessions by yourself or with some friends, having a kick about practicing your passes or shooting, um, doing some drills. And for sure, these boots will um, soften up and break into your feet type very quickly. So maybe three training sessions. If you just want to be certain, then maybe do a week of it. And then, yeah, you can take them into something like a competitive match, weekday footballs, um, five or seven aside, or kickabouts with friends when you do matches. Just something with a much more faster pace environment, you'll be able to, so maybe after a week. But for sure, the first thing we notice is the very flexible, lightweight material of these Puma King Pro Editions, which is a very shock. Usually the mid-tiers are just similar to the Ultimate and it doesn't have a very original um, design or idea. Um, these Pro Editions, wow, they are very, very unique um, and to their own in terms of the materials um, and also um, the softness of the boots. The next thing is the laces system is actually, it looks like a two piece material, but the materials are, look, as you can see, sewn on. So it's actually a one piece material. So when you stretch out, it is still very stretchy with the soft material, but there is a limit to it because of the um, one piece material actually rather than, being, rather than it being a two piece material. So do make sure look, to look out for that when you're wearing the Puma King Pros. Um, that is not a two piece material, it's one piece. So you may have to maybe go for a different sizing depending on your feet types. Now to get onto the feet types. Um, for narrow feet types, we recommend going true to size from your normal Puma King uh, football sizing and then go from there. If it feels nice and tight, um, then just stick with true to size. If you want a snug fit, maybe go half size down and it should fit you really nicely. Um, normal feet types, just go true to size. For wide feet, go true to size again because of the soft material, very easy to stretch out. It should fit you nicely and give you a nice snug fit. If you prefer to have a bit more space on a toe box area, as some people prefer to do that, um, or like to have a bit more space in all areas of the boot, just a tiny bit more, then go half size up. And then for very wide feet, again, start off with true to size, see how they feel for you in the Puma football sizings, um, and then go from there, maybe half size up or one size up maximum. But for very wide feet, probably half the size up will do you really nicely because the Puma Kings are very accommodating for feet types. It may not be the most widest one because that's the Puma Futures, but it still is very accommodating for wide and very wide feet and all feet types in total. Um, and then sole plate, you can wear them on firm grounds, um, real grass pitches, hard ground. You can also wear them on AG, so like 3G, 4G uh, pitches. Sole plate isn't too aggressive, so it's very easy to get used to the boots itself and reduces the chance of injuries with it being less aggressive. Um, having this little plastic stud in the middle gives you a bit more for stability, um, easier to navigate and move around and with body, um, what's the word, uh, body, 
with balance. That's the one with balance. It will definitely help you um, when, with, with your movement and um, traveling with the ball and dri dribbling with the ball. Uh, you definitely notice it with the sole plate um, and the plastic stud patterns with this one in the middle. Now, if you have a pair of the Puma Kings yourself, um, the Pro Editions, make sure to leave a comment down below what you think of these boots. Um, do you agree with the softness of the materials when you got it? Um, and yeah, you're, you're just your thoughts of pros and cons as it helps out people when they're looking to upgrade or get a new pair of boots. It really does help them out before they make their decision um, towards buying whichever one they go for. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this unboxing and quick review of the Puma King Pro Editions. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave the video a like and to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time for another unboxing and uh, review in the near future. The next one for the Pro Editions of the Puma Boots will be the Puma Futures, as it's also been requested highly. So do look out for that. And yeah, all the very best and take care.